of T Wheel checking in with uh, the Big Boy Sports Short and Celebrity Birthdays. Uh, so we're gonna finish off our list of uh, top 100 British sayings and phrases, and we're gonna have a lovely check in with weather. And I think it's a good time to do that right about now. What's going on with the weather system? You know what? Yesterday it was 70 degrees in Dallas, and now it looks like the temperatures are dropping. Not only in Dallas, but mm-hmm. in cities across the country. I know that um, the Northeast is under a winter storm advisory. So um, right now, currently in Oklahoma City, it's 27 degrees, but it feels like 14. Um, you can expect sunny skies today with a high of 41 and a low of 31. New York City is part of that winter storm warning. Currently, right now, it's 28 degrees and it feels like 17. Um, you can expect a high today of 23 and a low of 10. Athens, Georgia, you're under a wind advisory until 10 p.m. this evening. Currently, it's 33 degrees, partly cloudy. Um, you're going to have windy skies today with a high of 47 and a low of 18. Meridian, Mississippi, currently 46, sunny and windy with a high of 46 and a low of 22. Montgomery, Alabama, you're part of the wind advisories today also till 6 p.m. Currently, it's 46 degrees, party, partly cloudy skies today with a high of 50 and a low of 24. London, currently it's 43 degrees, partly cloudy skies, high of 46 and a low of 42. Ruston, Louisiana, currently 46, sunny with a high of 46 and a low of 28. Baton Rouge, it's currently 53 degrees and you're going to have a high today of 53. You're going to have a sunny day and a low of 26. And last but not least, Miami, currently at 64 degrees with a oh. high of 73, but they're going to have some rain today. So, you know, that kind of puts a little uh, damper on things, no pun intended. And today, <laughs> tonight is going to be a low of 51 degrees. So everyone, especially in the uh, Northeast area, New York, good luck. I hope you have a lot of food in the house. Bunker down and stay safe. All righty. Well, that's the lovely, lovely checking in with weather. Boy, she can do some weather, can she? Oh, yeah. Do it! Do it! <laughs> well, guys, we have some great conversation today. Now, Beyonce says gender equality isn't a reality yet. Also, something that I've known for quite some time, but it's just been made public here recently, couples without children have happier marriages. Yeah! Forget AIDS. A-I-D-S. K-I-D-S. The damn kids! <laughs> the damn kids, man! The kids! <laughs> also, this is peculiar. This uh, one of uh, Comedian Valley Vale's old girlfriends. Her name is Keisha. She loves sucking dirty diapers uh, on my strange addiction. Gross. Yeah, I, think, I, mean, I told you to keep your company in the in the back room or something. Somebody might have to discover them. <laughs> <laughs> dirty diapers. What you, what you mean? She likes uh, sucking dirty diapers. <laughs> we gonna talk about? I know that's a, that's a, that's a, that's it. Uh, yeah, I know it make you make you say that's what? One of the, those crazy TLC <laughs> shows, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. It absolutely yes, they are is. Out of control. I saw well, one one time. One the girls with Duck Dynasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got some. Let me shut up. This is the family show. They, they look. They look like they're like a dirty diaper. <laughs> they don't talk to me if you see a Walmart. You know what, man? I tell you, the fashion. You know what? I think we got to come out with the Sunrise Online Walmart Fashion Show. What do you guys think? I think we should yeah. do that. Um, Let's I, do it. I, 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 I'm seeing some fashions. I mean, I saw a nice pajama ensemble yesterday. I mean, that was. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it was really nice. It was a pajama ensemble. I mean, you, know, you couldn't call that just. PJs or jammies or onesies. You know, it was an ensemble. I tell you what, it's just utterly ridiculous. But you know what? It said, DJ, let the music play. Let the music play. Well, all right, that's exactly what I'm going to do. We kick it in with the Shannon. Let the music play on the Sunrise Online Morning Show. Wake that ass up. <laughs>
Sunrise Online Morning Show on OCDFM HD and Grown Folks Radio. It's your big boy sports short with T-Wheel. If you've been paying attention to college basketball, then you're fully aware of the upsets taking place on a nightly basis. Ohio State started out 15-0. They've dropped four in a row now after falling to Nebraska last night 68-62. Creighton, they set a Big East record last night with 21 three-pointers. They not only upset, but they beat the brakes off fourth ring Villanova 98-68. Plus, Kansas, they pulled out a tough win against Baylor 78-68. Tonight, Michigan State battles Indiana, Texas hosts Kansas State, and Texas A&M takes on Kentucky. In the NBA, Chicago needed overtime to knock off the Lakers. Houston beat Portland. Brooklyn gave the Knicks their fourth straight loss, and the Hawks defended home court against Miami. Tonight, Boston is at the Heat, and Oklahoma City hosts Portland. In NFL action on Sunday, the Super Bowl picture became very clear. Denver beat New England. Seattle came from behind to beat San Francisco. Broncos, Seahawks, Super Bowl 48, February 2nd in New Jersey. This is T-Will, and that was your Big Boy Sports Short. family it's two step tuesday 25 minutes after the hour and this is the sunrise online morning show okay so what did you guys think about the football games over the weekend great super bowl matchup coming up here in the next couple of weeks you have the number one rated offense which is the denver broncos against the number one rated defense which is the seattle super seahawks Love the squad. Love that squad, man. They got a uh, good teams, both of them. And both of those teams, just by happenstance, happen to just legalize marijuana. Well, as I mentioned to you before, you know, I go to watch parties, football watch parties, basketball, whatever, playoffs, just for the festivities. And I had a great time at the festivities. So, who did you say won again? <laughs> <laughs> My 49ers lost, so I don't, I don't care. Yeah, man, I that was an incredible game. It was Denver taking on the greatness of one one Tom Brady in Denver. Great game. A lot of subplots. Bill Belichick came out yesterday and said that dirty tactics were being used. He felt like his former player, Wes Welker, who is from Oklahoma City, took out Aqib Talib, which is their best, uh, most proficient cover corner. They said it affected the game tremendously because he weren't, wasn't in there. So they took him out. Uh, then you had the situation where <laughs> the San Francisco 40 Winers, yeah, boo. No, they're a good team. I'm just teasing. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, so I have to give the 49ers good yeah, business. But well, I'm going to say, you better not talk about nobody. Well, listen here, man. We we just we just I can talk about somebody because welcome y'all's ass to the couch. Welcome, we got it warm for you. Sit your ass <laughs> down over person. here. <laughs> Sit on down here. Welcome to the couch, damn it. <laughs> well, I was surprised. You ain't lying. Hey. My, my watch party, San Francisco uh-huh. was winning. 
Oh, yeah, you was good and toe down. Yeah, you really. And then when I woke up, <laughs> and I said, what uh, happened? Uh, How in the hell did we get in here in this kitchen? Drunk and love. Yeah, you didn't know what happened, huh? You woke up in the kitchen, huh? You just <laughs> lost. <laughs> well, then you had the situation with Richard Sherman. <laughs> Man, that was absolutely some of the funniest ish I've, I've seen in quite some time. He was, he was on one. Richard was, Sherman is a former Stanford Cardinal who actually played football for Jim Harbaugh at Stanford. Now he plays for the Seattle Super, Super Seahawks. Damn that team. And you know what? <laughs> they got my man blasted all on TV. They got my man Richard Sherman. Got him in, they said he thugging. I mean, Richard Sherman went to Stanford, ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's no thug, okay? Let's. Let's be clear about that. He's no thug. What did you think about that, Phil?